Hello, a student asked um, a question about how to select this cup and then, uh, you know, deselect what's inside the handle here. And the student knows, you know, how to use the quick selection tool and so on. It's just a matter of technique. It can get kind of aggravating. So let's zoom in here and I'll choose the, um, the quick selection tool, right? And now how big should the quick selection tool be? Um, it depends on the DPI of the uh, image. And this is a really nice, big, um, high DPI image. It's like 300 DPI and like 10 inches wide, you know, so this is really good. So I could put, I have the uh, quick selection tool at 30 pixels. The quick selection tool is just a brush. So let me um, go over the cup here. And you can see everything's, you know, going as far out and groovy. Everything's really cool. Um, I can grab the uh, tea bag thingy. So this this looks really, really nice uh, so far, right? Now, the, the when I venture into this area, this open chunk inside the handle is going to get selected by mistake, which it did. Okay. All right, well, now what? Um, well, the smaller your brush, the more precise your selection. So first of all, um, I'm going to go in the middle here and hold down the Option key. I'm going to hover over. I hope you can see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see the minus sign there. OK, so I just clicked once on that white area with the um, the quick selection tool at 30 dpi and that seemed to work. Okay, cool, great. There's some stuff there. And now I'm still holding down the option key or alt key on the PC and I'm going to go in there and lo and behold, um, that's pretty good. Now the um, there's a little chunk here that wasn't selected so I'm going to like reduce my um, brush size to 10 pixels and just carefully Whoops, and I messed up, so I'm going to hold down the Option key again, and there we go. Ta-da! So let me save the selection. Whoops, uh, there's one chunk there that I, I missed. So again, my Quick Select tool is at 10, and I'm just going to very carefully do that. So there is the cup, so let me save this. Select, save selection. Let me save this file. Okay, um, so okay, I saved that selection, and actually, there's a little chunk there that I, I could have got, but it's not a big deal. Um, let me show you some other stuff here. Uh, let me think about this, what I want to do. Okay, let me um, deselect, and then I'll uh, go through the same rigmarole here, and I'll select this whole cup with the quick select tool, and then I'll, on purpose, mess up here. Okay, so I, I want to, like, deselect the stuff inside this handle. You can also use uh, the lasso tool. So I got the marching ants going on. And I can grab the, the lasso tool, and I can hold down the option key. <clears throat> and I could, with the lasso tool, um, like draw inside the cup. I'm holding down, you see the minus sign next to the lasso tool. I'm holding down the, uh, whatchamacallit, the option key. So you can do that right um and then there's this little chunk here it's not really perfect so i can go back to quick select tool and then reduce the the brush size to like 10. whoops and i messed up because i didn't hold that and hold down the option key and i could go up in there like that and so i think that's that's about all i got to show here. Um, it does get aggravating, it does get um, confusing, you know, like when to take away from a selection, when to 
do a selection, but I, I had success with this simply using the quick select tool and the uh, adjusting the brush between 10 and starting with 30 then, then going down to 10 pixels. So I, I hope that helps. Um, and that little wheelie dealy with the lasso tool that's that's up here. Typically I, I like to use the polygon lasso tool a lot. I think I'll, I'll cover that later. I'll show you some stuff later about that. But Okay, well I, I hope that helps. Alright, bye.